Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm looking at whether or not the New York football giants can make the playoffs in 2021. But before getting to that topic, question for those of you viewing, who do you think will win the NFC East in 2021? Comment down below and I'll reveal my answer at the end. But getting straight into it, <clears throat> my initial answer is they should be. Giants overall, roster-wise, from head to toe, top to bottom, have a great roster. They might arguably have the best receiver room in the NFL, Kenny Galladay, Darius Toney, Sterling Shepard, Darius Lee, and John Ross, Evan Ingram, Kyle Rudolph. That's a top five receiving core in the NFL. Yeah, I don't know if they're number one. There's some tough ones out there at the Bucs. I got Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Tony Brown, Rob Gronkowski, etc. Rams got Cooper Cub, Robert Woods, Van Jefferson, Deshaun Jackson, Tyler Higbee. Either way, Giants might not be better than those guys, or but they're on the same par. I don't, I don't know if anyone outweighs the other. So receiving core, one of the best in the NFL. Backfield, Saquon Barkley, when he comes back healthy, is a top five running back in the NFL. Looking at the defense, secondary, pretty darn good with Logan Ryan, with uh, Jabril Peppers, with James Bradbury, with the Dory Jackson. That's a good athletic addition there in the NFL free agency in the NFL offseason with the Dory Jackson. Pass rushes get in there to help out Leonard Williams. They drafted Aziz Jewelry. I like this uh, Giants team top to bottom on offense and defense, but... There is a couple question marks and wild cards, and one of them is, of course, going to be your quarterback in Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones, he's not the greatest quarterback by any means, and I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I do think this is going to be the best team he has to work with. Last few years, I mean, Saquon was hurt. Even his first year, he was a rookie. He hasn't had the best offense line. He hasn't had the best receivers. He hasn't had the best defense, but this year... The red carpet's rolled out. It is just waiting for Daniel Jones to walk on it and take this team to a playoff run. And being in the worst division in football, now, do I think the NFC East is so bad that the winner and the playoff contender for the NFC East will be below 500 again? No. But are they the worst division still? Yes. Is it as bad? No. But is it still bad? Yes. Sorry, that's a weird phrase, but you guys should understand. Hopefully... <clears throat> Being in that division, Daniel Jones should have no excuse, especially with the roster he has. And I don't think it'll be easy this year. Dak's coming back and Washington's got a good record or roster as well. But it is still manageable and winnable. Just looking at what he has, and I'll agree that the offensive line he has is not the best by any means. It's not even top tier. It's not probably second tier. It's not great. It's not even really good. But it's not like he has nothing and it's really no excuse Teams with bad offensive lines have had success before. Look at Patrick Mahomes with the Chiefs last year. His offensive line fell apart. And granted, you saw in the Super Bowl what happened when they didn't have an offensive line. And granted, we're talking about Patrick Mahomes there, not Daniel Jones. But still, it's not impossible to make a playoff run, especially in the NFC East with a below average to average offensive line. Especially with the weapons outside of the offensive line. The backfield is going to help with Saquon Barkley. The receiving core, Kadarius Toney, like I said, could be an absolute playmaker. He's a guy that really doesn't, he wasn't a necessity for the Giants, but he's a receiver that none of the Giants, you know, the key attributes he has, none of the other Giants receivers have, and that's play after the catch. Kenny Galladay is a great go up and get a guy, play after catch. That's going to be a Kadarius. Tony Roll, Sterling Shepard, Darius Lane, great duo in the slot, in my opinion. John Ross, crazy speed, could be a burnout guy, burn route guy, but he's obviously had his injuries and concerns, but still, if he has one or two burn route touchdowns, he's worth it for the Giants. Evan Ingram, Kyle Rudolph, good tight end room. Giants all around, they should make the playoffs, and they can make the playoffs, but will they is just a huge question mark. Daniel Jones played in 14 games last year and had 11 passing touchdowns. You know, there's been quarterbacks in NFL history that have had bad seasons. Peyton Manning, he's had close to 30 interceptions before. He started 3-13 and his rookie year, and he's turned it around and turned him one of the best quarterbacks of all time. So Daniel Jones, it's not like he's the only ever good quarterback to have a bad start. But 11 passing touchdowns through 14 games, that's just ugly. That's not something you want to see out of your quarterback guy. I don't care what year he's in and what help he has. To not have more touchdowns than you have games is just not a good statistic to have. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I do think he will turn it around. And I do think this Giants team should make the playoffs. My, I guess, final verdict or final consensus of whether or not will they. I really have to see how the rest of free agency and the rest of the offseason plays out. You know, Washington's looking at signing a starting safety in Bobby McCain. 
Could be an Aaron Rodgers trade within the division. Not saying there will be, but anything is going to happen. Maybe the Giants will trade for Aaron Rodgers. Again, not saying that's going to happen, but I do think there's a lot more offseason play, le play left than we think. So I like Washington a lot this year, and I do think Dallas is going to give a run with Dak Prescott. But again, no one team in that division is extremely dominant over the other. Anyone can win, and even Philadelphia, who I find dead last in that division, I think has a chance. So Giants, they have a chance, and I think they can and should win the division it's just i can't bet on daniel jones just yet i think he will do better i honestly think he will turn things around and be the franchise guy of the giants but until i see it i can't bet all my money put all my eggs in one basket on that possible verdict there's guys in the league who have a lot of pressure on their shoulders like daniel jones. sam darnold the carolina panthers i think he deserves a shot and he's finally getting it but now that he's given a shot he has to execute it same with daniel jones kyler murray it's not as strict but again they want to see can he take his team to the playoffs not exact situation between Kyler, between Sam Darnold, but it's comparable enough to at least bring up the analogy. Again, I do think the Giants team can 100% make the playoffs, and I think they should make the playoffs, but will they? I have to figure out the quarterback situation with them. Is Daniel Jones good? I had to figure out the quarterback situation with Washington. Who's going to start? Heineke, Fitzpatrick. That's a big question mark in Dallas. How's their defense going to be? Should they? Yes. Will they? I can't answer yet. I have to see at least one week of football these guys playing in 2021. Are these rookies going to be hit? Is Aziza Jewelry going to be hit? Is Kadarius Tony going to be hit? I have to see a couple more things to at least determine, but they can and should, in my opinion, 100%. But as always, guys, I do want to hear your opinions. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of the Giants roster. I even think they're well coached and well run. Dave Guttelman, Trader Dave, you got the nickname from in the NFL draft. I think in 2022, if they don't make the playoffs in 2021, they will be an amazing team in 2022, just given the draft capital they have, whether they're going to use that to surround Sam Darnold with more weapons or use it as a blockbuster trade to trade away Sam Darnold and go get a franchise quarterback. One of the two ways, I think Dave Guttelman is running them well. Joe Judge is running them well. You got Jason Garrett as well. Mixed opinions on him, but still... You got a good roster, a good coaching staff, and a great GM, in my opinion. He might not be the greatest, but I do think he's aggressive enough to understand that this team should be on the brink of winning and be on the brink of being a playoff team. And I think if they don't make it this year, they 100% should and will. I do think they will in 2022. 2021-1 is a can. 2022 is a will. But we'll just have to see. I'm excited to see it play. And like I said, I do want to hear from you guys. Do you think this Giants roster or team will make the playoffs in 2021? And possibly, you know, who's to say two teams won't come in the come out of the NFC East and Dallas wins the division, but Giants sneak in as a wild card or Washington wins the division and Giants sneak in as a Washington card or Giants win the division and Washington sneaks in as a wild card or vice versa. I might've just mixed that up, but Giants, I do think can. I do want to hear from you guys. Do you think they will make the playoffs in 2021? And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Two-minute warning.